Well, we executed offensively. We were able to get um, get shots within our offensive sets. Uh, early in the game, we didn't convert those shots, specifically the ones where our post players were catching with two feet in the paint. I mean, you don't, as a coach, you don't draw it up better than that, and we just weren't finishing. And so, you know, I find coaching females, you make a strong statement that is, we need to finish the shot, and then you go away from it, because uh, if not, it puts a lot more pressure on them. So at halftime, I just said, you know, our guards are rewarding your deep positioning. We're sending the ball to you. You've got to finish the shot, and we will in the second half. So we go from shooting 28% to 53 or 54, and um, then everybody settles down. Defensively, we're making progress, um, but we have a long way to go just with our fundamental positioning, understanding of the game, rotating, um, all of those things. But, you know, it's, it's going to come with each game. Uh, I wish we were a little bit quicker on that end with learning, but we are learning. Picks of the dribble, kick out to Bryant, head fake and pulls up from 12. That's switched in with a shot clock under three. Kelsey Bryant. Dagan Culp left side. Couple dribbles, left block to Bly, who got loose and banked it in. Savannah Bly with 13 points. Savannah, I mean, just as a freshman to come in and give us the minutes that she does. Uh, she struggled at the free throw line last weekend on the road, so she righted the ship with that. Uh, a lot of poise for a freshman, a lot of presence on the court. Um, and then, you know, Kelsey Bryant's just our leader. I mean, she didn't shoot the ball well. I think she went into halftime one for 11, but she gives us leadership on the court um, and poise. And then Monica, uh, statistically, she didn't fill the page for me, um, but she'd been out for, I think, eight days. Um, she did think things defensively on number one for us that were invaluable. 